Okay, so now I'm going to demonstrate what a first lesson would be like and with Myla and myself. So this is a basic merengue first lesson because it shows you how to march easily to music. So we start with the right foot and we start marching in place. One, two, three, four. That turns into a chasse. Good. And then we can open up. This is called an opening up like a telescope and then coming back. Most people can do that. So once they feel that, then it turns into, for example, bachata. So the next dance I teach for beginners at first class is a bachata, which is similar to merengue, and it would be one, two, like merengue, marching, but you tap. And that's the basic merengue and bachata. And that's what I teach on first lessons. I don't teach walls or, because that's a little difficult. I want to make sure they're learning it. This is after a few lessons in bachata, and you'll see the difference. So Milo will demonstrate beautifully the bachata with a little more technique. We have a hip action that we do. You can see the hips moving. Then we have figures, school figures. This is called a cradle, which they learn. We teach lead and follow technique. This is called, it's very simple. It's a little tap. Cradle to the tunnel after the kick. This is called a tunnel. And this is called a free spin. Students actually know how to do this after a few lessons because bachata is easy. After more lessons, the students who want to do a lot more and learn the real technical way, so here's a waltz. For social dance waltz, we have one, two, three, one, two, three. Basic. But when they're more advanced, we have what's called right side position, as you saw on TV on Dancing with the Stars, very big frame, tall and elegant. And we have swing and sway. So after a little few classes, believe it or not, they get to dance wall beautifully with a little walk around turn. That's a school figure. And then they can even learn how to do a dip softly and elegantly, gently. Thank you, Myla.